Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to Babushka Land. Today, I'm going to show you how to kill the Wither. And by kill the Wither, I mean get the Wither stuck in some bedrock so it suffocates to death, and then it dies that way, and you can get your Nether Star. It's perfect. In order to kill the Wither, what you're going to need to do is find a Nether Fortress so that you can fight a bunch of Wither skeletons and collect their skulls. Now, I know there's a Wither Fortress somewhere around here. No, not a Wither Fortress. Uh, whatchamacallit Fortress? A Nether Fortress. And here it is. Okay. So, these are those Wither Skeletons. You want to kill them. They're not nice. Also, those guys. And these guys. And these guys. See, as soon as you land in one of these places, everything wants to kill you. So what I find is easy is to just stand from afar and shoot everything until you have the drops that you want. However, if you're a brave person and uh, you're not afraid of dying, you can go whack them with your looting three sword and you'll probably get better drop rates. But you know who's not a brave person? Me. But I'll show you anyways. Okay, so... Of course there's one of these spawn boxy things, whatever they're called. And yeah, I'll fight like one of these wither skeletons with a sword and show you how strong they are. But I guess there's two of them. Wonderful. See that? He's already taken out a bunch of my health and now there's these fire guys shooting at me and... Like, basically they're going to hit you, right? And then you start withering away and... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Look at that. I'm flying away right now. Gotta have a snack. Okay, so anyway, you got to kill a bunch of these guys. They're really hard to kill, so good luck. Some of the items that they drop are worth it. But yeah, that's it. Go kill these motherfuckers. Okay, so after you've collected your Wither Skulls, which I'm just going to pretend I've already done. Well, I've already done it, like, but not in this video. Then you need some Soul Sand. So, uh, find somewhere with- Oh, shit! Woo! Don't go swimming in the lava. It's not nice. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your Soul Sand. Okay, you're going to need it for the Wither's body. You can collect some extra for some item elevators or whatever you're going to build, you know? And uh, then you're set. Oh, what's this red stuff? Maybe I want that. Okay, let's see. Red stuff. Crimson roots. Hey, it's stupid fire. Fucked up my roots. I wonder if you feed these crimson roots boner meal. Maybe something will grow. I almost hit that piggy and he was going to get all his other piggy friends to kill me. And the stupid fire. Alright, 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 all right. enough of this shit. Soul Sand, check. Time to go. That was quite the ordeal. Honestly, way more difficult than killing the Wither. Especially if it suffocates to death, right? By the way, if you ever need unlimited chicken, check out my chicken video. Look at that, chicken. Once you've got your Wither Skeleton Skulls, as well as your Soul Sand, then you need to go to the zero zero coordinates and go all the way down to the bedrock going down to bedrock 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 oh shit don't press shift five times and then you want to go i think where is it where is the killing chamber the killing chamber yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you want to go over here to uh, minus 19. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to go down here to minus 25 by 2. All right. There's going to be this little gap here. We're going to place the soul sand like so. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So it's very important to get this spot totally correct, right? So if I'm standing on top of it, it's minus 25 by 0. Okay, then we're going to put his butt here, and then we're going to take the Wither Skeleton Skulls and put them like this. Okay, and then, uh, there's the Wither. Suffocating. 
Oh, I gotta get out of here. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Hopefully. Okay, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. All right. Once you have dug down to the bedrock, you can do this in any world because all the bedrock is the same. No matter what seed you use, the bedrock is the same. So you're gonna wanna go to minus 25 by zero. Three soul sands, just like this. Then one right here, okay? Then we're gonna grab those wither skulls and put them right here. One, two, three. And then you wanna get the fuck out of the wither's way so he doesn't nuke you. Yeah, he's about to go full Al-Qaeda. All right, now you can just hang out here while he suffocates, cause uh, he's stuck in the bedrock and can't do shit. It's great. So while the wither is blowing everything up and uh, suffocating, you can just hang out, you know, have a cup of coffee, cut your nails. Maybe you should do some push-ups. Chances are, if you're playing Minecraft, you should probably do some push-ups. You know, not that you shouldn't play Minecraft, but you gotta do something to balance it out, right? Like, what are you doing? How many push-ups can you do? In the comment section below, tell me how many push-ups you can do in a row. And, you know, no matter what that number is, you know how much you can do? Not enough. That's how much you can do. So fix that. Alright, now once this guy goes below 50% HP, he goes into like super, uh, I don't know. He gets really butt hurt and gets all this glowy shit around him. Don't get too close. I mean, I'd be mad too if I was suffocating. It's a terrible death, right? A terrible, terrible death. And just like that, the wither dies. What you can do from here is torch up the area so some zombies don't spawn. Collect all the nice uh, bits of, uh, what's this black stuff called? Deep Slate. Whatever that he leaves for you, right? And, oh, look at that, a nether star, or whatever that's called. What is it? Yeah, a nether star. Now you can make a beacon. And that's how you make this little chamber for the wither. So now you have a nether star, so you can make a beacon, or you can do this like 10 times, and then you can have 10 beacons, you know, whatever you want to do. That's how you do it, okay? Thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you found this very useful. Have a good day or a good night, or uh, I don't know, whatever your time identifies as. See you next time. Bye-bye.